If we want to create a stack and we want to use some type of link structure to do that, we want to build that out of something called node. And nodes are really just, they have a value and they have a next node. They're really just a container that, that is used to wrap around some value and that container can point to another one of its containers. So we have a node that contains a value, it contains something, and then it points to some other, some other value. So uh, if we have a stack, we actually want to start off with just a head. In head, well, it's going to point to who knows what. It may point to a node, which may point to another node, which may point to another node, which may point to null which we would say this is the bottom of our stack, and we would say this is the top of our stack. So the very first thing is gonna be our top, and then the thing far out in our, our sequence of nodes is gonna be the bottom of our stack. So if we wanna to add to the stack, if we wanna think about how that actually is going to happen, we wanna put, we call this pushing to our stack, and we, we might have a, a stack that currently looks like head, and it points to something, who knows what? We don't know what that points to. It could be really anything. Um, so. It could be a null, it could be a node that points to a node that points to a node. It's hard for us to say, but it doesn't actually matter because the process is the same regardless. We're going to create a new node. We're going to create a new node, and that new node is going to point to some node object, which is going to point to nothing. And this kind of represents new node dot next right now. And that's going to be null by default. So uh, new node, we're going to construct that object. We're going to put thing in it, and it's not going to point to anything. And we need to attach this to our stack. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and take new node.next, and we're going to set it to whatever head is. So new node.next, if we think about that in code, it's just going to be new node.next is equal to head. And that's kind of what that operation does. But we also need to make sure that head points to the top of the stack. So we're going to say head is now going to point to new node. And if we think about what this looks like when we're all done, we now have head points to whatever this thing is, points to, well, question mark. It's a big question mark. We don't know what that is. Uh, so we also have new node out there, which also points to this thing, but that doesn't actually matter because once we complete this method, once our push method is done, this goes out of scope, it disappears entirely. So now we have the stack that looks like head and it points to the thing and you know that points to something else. Now if we want to add again to the stack, if we push again, you can kind of see how this works. We have now a stack that looks like head, which points to thing, which points to, well, we don't know. So we can actually think about how we can uh, add another thing. So let's say we want to add thing2. We're going to go ahead and create that new node again, and new node points to thing2, and that then points to null. So now we have this, this new node, it points to thing2, uh, it points to this node that contains thing2, and it, that new node.next is going to still be null. So once we have that, we do the same process. We're going to go ahead and take new node.next, and we're going to point that to whatever head is pointing to. That's really our new node.next is equal to head. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and point head to our new node again. So we're going to take head, and we're going to point that up there. Head is equal to new node. And that might be a little confusing, but really what we're saying is whatever this was pointing to should now point to head, and whatever head was pointing to should really point to new node. So what we end up with now is a, is a stack that very tidily looks like this. Head points to thing2, points to thing, points to, well, we don't know. And new node is still out here pointing to this thing. But it doesn't matter because as soon as this method is done, that's going to go away. So this just goes out of scope and we're left with our stack. So that gives us a pretty basic overview of how we add things to our stack, how we push things onto our stack. Now, if we want to pop something off of our stack, it's, we have to think a little bit more about that because we want to move head. You know, when we, move our, when we pop our stack, we want head to end up over here. But if we do that, we're going to lose access to thing too. So we need to, to think about how we're going to do that a little bit more intelligently. So what we want to do here is we want to take uh, head, which points to thing2, which points to thing, which points to, well, we don't know. And we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call this popped. And that variable is going to be a node, and it's just going to point to whatever head is pointing to. So we would say popped is equal to head. And once we've done that, we can actually say, well, we're going to set head, instead of head, we're going to set head equal to head.next. 
And what we've done now is we, we've basically taken this top thing off of the stack. So head is equal to head.next, which basically means this thing out here that popped points to, nothing's really pointing to it except for popped. So now what we can do is just return popped.value. And we're just going to take whatever is in here and we're going to send it back out of our, we're going to send that back as a return value. And what we end up with when all of this is done is we end up with a nice tidy stack that looks like this. Head points to thing or the node containing thing, which points to not a, not a null, it points to a question mark. It points to who knows what we have there. Uh, so if we want to pop that again, we would do this, a similar thing. We would create a popped uh, variable. We would set that equal to head. We'd set head then equal to head.next, which would be at this point a question mark, and then we would return thing. So we'd have head back to our original state. And if we think about this through this whole exercise, we've pushed one thing and then pushed a second thing onto our stack, then pop that second thing off, pop that first thing off, and now we're left with whatever our original state was. If, if that's an empty stack, then what we're going to have is head pointing to null. This question mark could be null, or it could be some other node. You know, and that depends on what the state of our stack was. But as you can see, pushing and popping doesn't really matter unless the stack is empty. If, if head points to null, we should always check that before we try to return it to identify that this is a problem and we should probably throw an exception or do something there to identify that our stack was empty and you try to pop it. But hopefully that clarifies how linking works with a stack and how all of these things sort of fit together. Thanks for watching.